everyone. Good morning. How are you, Mr. Ali? And Nakey Nakey. How are you? Good morning. It's 3 a.m., huh? I'm so glad that you've made a habitat out of my take with me blankets. I just walked from over there for where the trailer is, and now I'm walking across the street to this McDonald's. I look homeless. People are gonna like get hand me money. We have to make a pit stop before we go to the clinic. Um, because our favorite farrier is in Texas. So we just got here to Willow Draw. Zoe, so do you like your new friend? I was gonna say, she would have already squealed by now. <laughs> I am on my booger. We are walking. This beautiful facility. Stepping out. I just got done with Zoe. I'm gonna give her a bath because she's uber dirty. Can you see her butt? It's so gross. I just gave her a bath and now she's in her cooler and I'm walking her in hopes of drying her off. But there are cows across from where she is paddocked and now she's all wound up. After a really rigorous dressage ride, she's still. How worried are you on a scale of one to ten? How worried are you? One to ten. I'm making fun of you. <laughs> Please, how's it made a friend? It's Samantha Tenny's pony. Her name is Poppy. She's very, very cute. She says, What's up? Oh, shiny! Oh, that's so nice. Zaz is all tucked in in a blanket that's not hers. Good morning, everyone. I am about to leave this hotel room if my princess father would hurry up. And then we're gonna go to the barn after we get food because I'm starving. And then I'm gonna go get Zoe ready because I ride in soon. Out for a morning stroll with the Zoe bird. She refuses to eat her breakfast, so we're going on a walk. Zoe bird is all ready to go. Oh my god, you guys, I had the best, 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 best dressage ride I think I've ever had on her. Ever. She's so good. She's made a bestie. Goodness gracious. She was a superstar and he really liked her. He said she was very, very cool and she's very, very pretty and I just, my heart. I'm so proud of her. She's coming along so nicely. And when I do it right, she's perfect. Me and dad are at the local tax store. It's called Teskies and it's cute. Yeah, they got plenty. Come on, put it back on. Do, uh, do it for the camera. No, no. Look, no. we found a burgundy helmet cover. Here we go. No, no. Come on. <laughs> you look super cute. I love your hands. Well, thank you. Oh, you like that? Yes, you look like the, you The bill won't stay down. Straight out of Compton. It's not supposed to. It's got to flip up. You're an inventor. That looks great. I love that. Just got an email that I got the Godo sponsorship, and I'm really freaking excited. I think I am a great sponsor, you know? I think this this is gonna be this is great. I'm so excited. So guys, we just got back from Teskey's, and I got a burgundy saddle pad. I got a burgundy helmet cover, shampoo, burgundy buckets, and a new lead rope. And now we're on a walk. We're just chilling, huh? How you doing, Mom? 
Okay. <laughs> Look at all the friendship. There's Maddie, and then there's Sam, and there's Jane, and <laughs> Molly. She's like, all oh, the friends! There's so many ponies. How's it going, Molly? Oh, I like your pants. <laughs> Am I going to be featured in your YouTube video? Yeah, girl! Oh, I Thank so you. Okay, we've got <laughs> She's like, what? That's you. You stink. Zoe's all done up in her Christmas colors. Got your Christmas colors. And I'll happily eat right out of this bag. Thanks. <laughs> She's a good girl. Hey guys. My phone is currently setting on a cliff bar in the windshield, so it's it's fine. I just wanted to talk through my ride. There's been a lot going on and there's and I was auditing all day, so yeah, I just kinda wanted to talk through what three through what I've been doing, you know. My ride was absolutely phenomenal. Like I like after the last clinic not going so well, um, at this one I was like, I don't really want to try a new clinician, I'm kinda worried about it. The dressage ride was phenomenal. Like we went in there and Zoe was a little worked up because I mean she's Zoe. I told him about all of our stuff. Uh the clinics with Wolf Audrey. I don't know if I like said that ever. I'm like in the arena walking around and he's like just go ahead and work in a circle around me and I was like okay cool and then so I start doing that and he was like I don't want you to have to like work your leg so much like I don't want to see you like moving your leg so much and try and ride her from your knee up a little more and that was weird for me because I was like I literally always use my calf so like what are you talking about he was having me halt with using my whole leg and I would, I had to push her into the halt without grabbing the rein. Like I wasn't allowed to use her mouth. I just had to push her into the halt. And then to, in order to walk, I wasn't allowed to use my calf. He was like, walk without your leg, like swing your hip. And I was like, is that a trick question? <laughs> but it wasn't. And then like, so like the first time I like used my leg and then like around the third time, like she started understanding the hip swing meant uh, walk on. Um, and he was like, you watch the big upper level guys and they can't go putting their legs on on their horses and then pulling back on their mounts. Everything has to be like, you know, trained into a cue. He started doing that and he had me doing lots of changes of direction. And like when she would look up and around, he wasn't like other clinicians where they're like, get her attention, get her. So she's allowed to look around and everything. But when you're walking around, like, she's got her outside shoulder popped. And I would, like was not even aware of that. I was like thinking about other things. You need to have your right leg to right rein and left leg to left rein. And I was like, isn't it inside leg to outside rein? But then the more I thought about it, I was like, you know, you have to ride each side of the horse evenly to get anything to happen. Oh, okay. So that side communicates to that, but like the diagonal pair can still communicate to get the roundness, but you can't forget about the other two, if that makes sense. And then I started working into trot and like the second I went into trot, like it was the best trot we've ever started with, I guess, cause she was so focused and paying attention. Um, and like with the shoulder thing, I forgot to finish my thought, um, but she had her shoulder popped out. So he was like, just make sure that you're like keeping a discipline and holding your aids and everything. Um, and like you're in control of her body, but give her a place to go if that makes sense. My dad's back with my food, so we'll start moving momentarily. Like it was the biggest trot we've ever started out with. And normally they're like short, choppy, like I'm really tight in my back, but she was swinging and she was tracking up the whole time to start and um, and when we were trotting, um, he had me working in a, um, like a square and like squaring off my turns and he'd be like, turn, turn, turn. And that was really like enforcing the, um, like outside aids working as a pair, the inside aids working as a pair. And, um, then he would have me, he was like post bigger without like, don't use your lower leg, just post bigger, like from your knee, but like don't pinch, you know? I would swing my hip bigger and Zoe would lengthen her stride and then he was like okay now like compress the trot and you have to obviously use your lower leg for that and then like post slower um and then she came right back and he was like the horses will think they're the smartest horses in the world for being able to un <clears throat> for being able to understand that and like and Zoe was like oh I got it and so then I would post bigger and she would just shoot off and I was like whoa this is weird just she's got it and then um and then he was like okay and when he had me posting big he was like okay now kick her really kick her and I like put my leg on he was like no kick her so I like took it off a little bit and like bumped her with it and then she just shot out at the trot like got a big big old truck going and I was like 
what this that's weird and he goes and you just taught her that your leg does not mean like gallop or canter or anything like that it just means you know you can add more energy um when we worked into the canter he just wanted me to sit down on her more and he said the same thing that everyone and their grandmother has been telling me for forever to stop like hitting hitting her with my elbow like i stopped moving my elbow and then she hits the bit and she's like okay ow okay ow ow okay jill you're really frustrating me and then she starts flipping her head and swishing her tail and all the things once i followed her and kept my leg on everything was just spectacular so yeah i think that's that about covers it okay so one other thing that i totally forgot that was like his huge message out of the whole thing don't have a rhythm faster than the balance allows which was like duh like that's such a concise way to like think about it but um you just can't have your horse going faster than they can balance and like as they get older and more mature and stronger they can have a bigger trot or a faster if you will um than you know like a greeny baby pony so the only issue that we had was that um the ipad that my father was filming on ran out of storage and he forgot that we had the video camera and also my other camera so he just fought with the storage on the ipad do you have anything to say for yourself? Guilty. Hey guys, I just want to say good morning. Uh, and I'm wearing my favorite jacket, uh, like a Nike shirt. My gloves are in my pants because they're cold. And um, then Fitz breeches. I'm currently getting Zoe tacked up. So, yeah. Okay, so quick outfit of the day on the Zazu. She's got her dread stripes hat on. It's so cute. And she's got a new soft hat and a thing and that. And I got this and it's great. You look great. And the hackamore definitely was not enough in warm up. So I put the bit back on and she went absolutely fantastic in it. Uh, I literally have the best horse ever. She was absolutely freaking super. And now she's like starving to death. So I'm gonna get her poultice and everything. Zoe, she's all wrapped and everything. And she's <laughs> messing with Poppy. Out for another walk. What do you see? It's too confusing for me. Okay, so um, yesterday I didn't really get to talk about it. So we just worked some pretty tough lines on cross country and some new questions for Zoe. And she at one point dropped her back feet in the ditch and it scared me. <laughs> and it scared her too, which was good in a way because it was, she was just running at all the fences and not really respecting anything or what I had to say, like my input. She was like, nah, girl, I got this. And I was like, okay, but please. <laughs> so after she did that, we showed her the ditch, which she went over it. And then we worked over and over and over and over and over and over. And then she was great and she was balanced and she was collected and she was listening to me. So now dad has just gotten back with taking all the small stuff down and we are going to grab everything else and take it down to the truck and head out. We are doing show jumping today. Body back. Good ride, Arnold. Very good. All loaded. Ready to go home. Danny's if you want. Aw, cute. Oh, birds all settled in. She says, what are you talking about? Okay, bye. But she's all settled in for the night. <sighs> nice at home. She does. It's very bright. Ollie says, what's up? What are you doing? She says, I've already rolled, I'm nice and comfy, thanks for asking. Forgot to do a show jumping recap, so while I hang out the window of the truck, I'm gonna do that. Um, so essentially, today we were just like, oh, okay, so uh, Zoe says, oh, your hands are all over the place and that means nothing to me except your hands are scary. 
And Will's goal was like to get me to get her to trust my hand and like like it and want to hold my hand and not just like run away from it or be afraid of it. He had me jump with one hand first and he was like, okay, so bridge your reins now. And then that just made Zoe like be able to pull against herself instead of me. And that took away the variables of like open reins and closed in reins and direct reins and indirect reins and all the things that you can do up and down or me bracing on my rein because I had to follow her head and neck over the fence instead of, you know, restricting or like I've been doing recently for some reason. And Will was like, you know, one of the things is like if you let the horses like run around in here, they wouldn't do the things and like they wouldn't do three strides into three strides or three strides to four strides. They would either ignore them or run around and do nothing. And you know, he was like, you have to teach them that this is the game and this is why and you have to help them understand what it is you're asking them to do and why. Because she doesn't get it. She's just like, okay, I can run and jump and it, it's fine. Why do I have to extend and collect my body and why do I have to listen to my rider? Like, I got it, you know? She thinks she's good. She's that. Okay, so my phone died. Now I'm using his phone. And, uh, do I have anything else that I would like to address? I think just overall, it was a great weekend. I got to meet so many stupid, awesome people. And I loved them all. And we all went to dinner and hung out and did all the things. And I was constantly with people all weekend and auditing and like paying attention. And like, I honestly never touched my phone all weekend. So I like had a hard time vlogging and I didn't really like, I would be auditing until I had to get tacked up and I didn't have time to like set up my phone and worry about all that. So I just kind of got the clips that I got. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is a stupid vlog. If you didn't like it, then watch a different one. Um, I think that's it. Big thank you to Willow Draw and Taylor Owens for organizing the whole thing. And uh, of course, Will for doing it, you know. It was super great. So I think it was an overall superb weekend. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you watch the edited version of me riding because it's going to be lit. You know? Okay. That's all. Do you have anything to add? I'm tired. Same. It's been cold and tired all weekend. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.